The fire is very hot. You can see it maybe coming through the ducts there. Really started up fast. Today we're gonna evaluate what's in this box. It's a lightweight, backpacking, wood-burning stove. I know, I've got my suspicions about it, but we're gonna test it out against marshmallows and boiling water. Interested? Here we go. First thing you notice coming out is it's got a nice thick mesh bag to hold it in. This bag is not a toy. I'm not sure why it's German and English, but all right, there's a lot of versions of this. This is the Ohuhu, however you say that. And then one of the reasons why I got it was because of this grill top. I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, so now you have another bag and guess what? In German and English, this is not a toy. Some instructions, portable stainless steel stove. You have an airflow base, you have a burning chamber, you have a burning base, triangle rack, solid alcohol tray. Steps for cooking with firewood. Steps for cooking with solid alcohol. So that's another good thing about this stove. It can do both alcohol burning and wood stove. But I got it prim primarily for the wood stove. And that's it. So it's pretty compact. When it's sitting in the bag, five and a half inches at the base and just over two and a half inches wide. Or for metric people, 65 millimeters between uh, 67 millimeters, 14 centimeters on the base. All right, so this is one of the things I was kind of mixed on. There was actually another one I was looking at. I wasn't really convinced on this setup. It's lightweight, it's three points for a stove top. We'll see how it works. Another version that was very close to this that had a U-channel that came out and I thought it'd be a little more stable. Paid for with this my own money. But one thing I like, and I've gotten quite a few things over the years from these guys, is they are pretty good about this. If you find this product does not meet your expectation, let us know and a refund is on its way. If there's any problems with this product, contact us for free replacement. That's a uh, pretty good customer service. All right, so, so that is the burning base. This is the triangle rack. This is the solid alcohol tray. You know, this is pretty good. Now this is the base. I'm gonna do a temperature profile on it to see how hot every component gets. And I think it goes on like this. Now, if you are doing the wood stove, you take this piece here and it goes in like this. It sits down there and you can see maybe here, there's a gap right there and then it opens up here. So that's the efficiency piece. Now, if you're gonna do the alcohol, you turn it upside down like that, put it in there like that, and then the alcohol sits there like this, and then this guy goes on top of that. And yeah, the grill would work. Now, I would probably turn the grill, well, I don't know. You know, do you put the grill on this way, or do you put the grill on this way? It may be a little heavier from the structure's point of view, but you're not hauling around those tanks. So as long as you can start a fire, I think you got it. All right, so let's measure this guy stacked up. 16 centimeters or six and a quarter inches. So let's weigh this puppy out. Wood stove only, it's gonna come in at 364 grams. And if I put that guy on there, it's 390 grams, which is also 12.8 ounces without the grill top. Now, if you put this guy, the alcohol in there, you're, you're hauling it all. 14.35 ounces or 407 grams. And if you include <laughs> the top, you're at 426 grams or right at 15 ounces. Now that I have a break in weather, take this guy outside and test it out. Here's the setup. I've got a cutoff trunk here. I'm using some dryer lint. That's a good fire starter. And I'm going to put some alcohol. So that's just all cotton. Put that down 
in the stove and then just get a bunch of twigs and put that on top and then we'll light it with a match and see how it goes. Uh, put it down in there. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it in there. And it went out. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be fun. Let's try and, there it goes. Start the timer and see how long it takes to get this fire going and how we'll burn. It's starting right up. It's at 30 seconds and it's going. I'm just gonna feed it. Okay, we're at a minute and 40 seconds and the thing is going pretty fierce and, or, <laughs> and the flames are up there a couple feet. Just over five minutes. The fire is very hot. You can see it maybe coming through the ducts there. The coals are burning down quickly. Okay, we're at eight minutes. Inside is right around 800 degrees. That's hot to the touch. 120 degrees, it says. And the outer chamber is 300 degrees. I was hoping this would be some sort of tabletop kind of heater, but it's way too hot for that. There's not much ash coming out of it, and as long as you just keep that guy going with the right amount of fuel, it'll burn pretty good. Almost 20 minutes, still going strong. The inside temperature is 960. <laughs> wow. Base temperature is 200, and the side temperature is about 270. Okay, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> See how peeps roast up. Ooh, peep face is gone. He's expanding a little bit. Oh man. Peep goodness. You know, <laughs> I don't know why anybody's never done this before. I've never seen it anywhere. Peeps roasted on the fire are really good. They have a card candy shell, but they're like molten lava, so you gotta be very careful. Peeps on the grill. See how they warm up on the side? Well, careful, dude. They won't catch fire like regular marshmallows. Oh no! <laughs> Their faces look so creepy. I know, huh? Oh, burned. I don't know, that didn't happen last time. Don't put it in the fire. Okay, here we go. That's just coals. See how they're popping up a little bit? Yours looks better than mine. Oh my gosh, they're expanding. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. How's yours? Yeah, I think it's done as well. We're at 35 minutes. The temperature is 960 degrees inside the fire. 150, 142 at the base and 180 on the side. Just past 50 minutes and still 900 degrees inside the fire. 150 degrees on the side and 130 on the bottom. So you, you really can't put this on a table per se unless you had some sort of barrier. I'm thinking the bottom of a terracotta pot where you put flowers. This is kind of interesting. The stove was right around here and that is about three four hundred degrees right there. So it's very hot underneath the stove. You can see I'm moving it around to get dump the ashes out. Nothing left in the stove. A couple ashes. Still registering about 205 degrees. The outside is 97, the bottom is hot. <laughs> the bottom's more hot than the sides now. So you gotta be really careful where you put this guy on the ground or whatever, because there's a chance that you could combust <laughs> what's ever underneath it. Yeah, it's still 300 degrees. So it's at eight minutes, and it's finally cool enough for me to pick up and handle. All right, so the ring here, fairly intact, looks good. The bottom ash pan, it's got kind of a bronze look to it now, but didn't break down. Looks good on the outside, inside, it's got that same bronze patina. It was pretty darn hot inside. So between seven and eight minutes, you'd be able to break camp and put all this away. Okay, it's the next day. Here is the area where we had the pot yesterday and it left a mark. It didn't go through the wood, but it left, certainly left a mark. So I'm gonna use this clay tray and I'm gonna put the thing on there like this. And I'm gonna get a sense of how much wood I'm burning too. In this pot, 
I have two cups of water. We're gonna start the fire. By the way, it's 20 mile an hour winds here, which is another good challenge for this. So we're gonna put a handful of really small twigs in there. And these are off the ground, nothing special about them except for when you break them, they crack in half, which means they're relatively dry. So we're gonna time from when we start the fire to when we get boiled water. Start the timer. Yeah, we do have combustion. The quest to boil water. Three minutes in, we got a good fire, 800 degrees. I'm gonna put the top on and see if we can start boiling water. To this point, we've used two small handfuls of twigs. Oh boy, that thing's big. I'm trying not to get burned here. Okay, here we go. That's a fairly big pot. We'll see how it does. All right, we're right at five minutes. Pot's going. Heat's pretty good. And the pot's been on there for about a minute and a half. Okay, we're at seven and a half minutes. We had to take the pot off because we thought that the fire had gone out. The fuel kind of burned itself out. So we've added some bigger stuff. And we'll put the pot back on. I'm getting a nice good flame now. Some crackling sounds. Pot goes back on. So I think we got enough fuel in it now. You can see the flame action on the pot. Okay, fire is going good. It's right at 10 minutes. Flame is flaming. We're right at 15 minutes and the water hasn't boiled yet and the flame is down. It's 996 degrees. Of course, we're not going to put any more fuel in there. We're just going to let it continue to heat up. The water's at 136 degrees. Okay, we're at 20 minutes. It's right around 136, 138 on the water. Still working with ashes here, but 955 degrees. We're at 24 and a half minutes. It's not getting any warmer. The water's at 132. You can't see it, but there's barely any ash down there. So I'm gonna call it, I don't wanna wait forever. I guess I could feed it more fuel and try to get it to boil, but I'm sensing We'll get real close, but we're not going to get this guy to do a rapid boil. You can see the ash in there, maybe. It's settling down. It's 500 degrees. You could certainly cook with two cups of water. You just, if you're really into the boiling thing, you're probably not going to be able to do that. Record the amount of time it takes to cool the fire down. I'm taking the top off 16 seconds in, and I'm just going to take a stick and just pound on the ashes. And all the ashes have gone through the grate. 400 degrees on the surface there. Can I pull this off? Wah, it's hot. <laughs> There's all the ash. Not much at all. Take the ring away. All right, so right around it. Well, it's all over the place. If you hit a coal, it's about 400 breaking down quick though. All right, three minutes in, almost four minutes. This is a little warm. Outside temperature, this is outside temperature, this is outside temperature. I put the ring back over the ashes so they wouldn't blow away. And the ashes are pretty much out. So at four minutes, after you've gotten done cooking, you can put this guy out pretty quickly. That's impressive. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciated. This was interesting. Would I get this and use it again? Would I buy it? Is it worth it? For 24 bucks, you don't need to buy fuel again. That's a good thing. You can easily spend $24 in fuel pretty quickly on any kind of backpacking trip. It's portable, weighs less than a pound, and can get water close to boiling. Probably with a little bit of expertise and practice, you could easily get it into a rapid boil, but it takes a while. If you're interested in evaluation of camping gear, I make sports gear, I evaluate things, I break things. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out my channel.